welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. It is that time of the year, although a little bit overdue, where I am going to do a quarterly review of all the projects that have been proposed by The Boring Company. Um, not massive amounts of things have happened over the last sort of three, three and a half months. Uh, I'm going to start doing these quarterly reviews a little bit more often so I can kind of catch up because I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit behind at the moment. Um, and, and this particular episode will be classified as a, the Q1 quarterly review, but really we're uh, well into to Q2 now. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, a lot of the, the, the old names are still on the, on the, on the list, as you can see. Um, if you've not watched this before, basically what I do is I, I make a record of the various projects that have been proposed. Um, I get a good understanding of uh, what those projects encompass and then try and quantify everything ranging from the cost per mile to the, the, the actual uh, external diameter of the, uh, the cutter head to the probability that the project will be completed, etc, etc. How many stations it's going to have, how many ramps it's going to have. A lot of those options are, are hidden at the moment, but let's, uh, let's start off with what would have been my one of my favorite projects but unfortunately has fallen by the wayside and uh unfortunately probably will be removed um from uh, this list at some point in the next maybe six months or so so uh chicago express loop uh as you know uh mayor uh, lightfoot who's having a tremendous time at the moment uh this is the least of her problems but uh yeah, so that that project uh, was linking the uh, the airport to kind of the uh, downtown area of Chicago. There was already um, uh, a, a, a chamber there beneath a building that was perfect for a station. And uh, yeah, she basically she said she didn't want to really support this project um, or even approve it. So uh, it, it's fallen by the wayside. It will never, never, ever get built. Uh, unless something rapidly changes. So at the moment, this very moment in time, I've given the probability of completion is 0.001%. Uh, now, obviously, if Lightfoot was um, removed as mayor, possibly something could change, but I'd anticipate that someone would come in who's probably just as anti-Elon Musk as her. Um, she's probably not got long to go, but you, you never know these days in American politics. And it doesn't really matter. Any anyway. there's, there's plenty of other big cities in America, as you can see from the list. Uh, we have our completed project, the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, as you can see, it is 100% complete. Let's have a look at the actual project breakdown. So um, this document is available, by the way, for you to download and uh, 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 scrutinize. Um, as you can see, I've uh, made records of the progress of the TBMs and the progress of each tunnel. Uh, as you can see, uh, Tunnel B was much faster than Tunnel A. Uh, they, they got well into sort of the uh, you know 34, 35 meters, maybe more than that per day. Some days, I believe it got up to nearly 40 meters, uh, but they were pretty rare. But uh, it's a good record of what happened with the Las Vegas Convention Center loop, so we can benchmark that against future projects. So basically what that would involve is me comparing this project to another project that the Boeing Company uh, constructs in the future and seeing if they've made improvements on the uh, construction practices and the, uh, uh, the, the, the systems they used to, to, to build the project, uh, maybe the TBMs as well, the actual uh, logistics of running that. So uh, just to have a, a look at this part here. So this part is uncompleted, the vehicle calibration test. There were some tests um, on the 24th or 25th of this month um again speeds are limited at the moment which is a great shame because we should be getting well up beyond here but until they increase the speeds uh well beyond sort of 60 65 miles per hour we, we, we're not going to see that number no matter how many uh, uh vehicles they put in the system so uh, all in all very very good project uh completed on time completed on budget uh looks very very good uh, the San Jose Airport Loop in California, not heard very much about this project, $19 million, just over four miles. Uh, the cost per mile, according to this, uh, is looking at around $22 uh, million, which is, uh, that can't be right. I think that's probably less, actually. Um, probability of completion, 14%. I've just not heard very much about this. This is possibly the most perfect project that the Boeing Company could ever do. Uh, just in terms of uh, the actual function of the system and what it's connecting. So it's connecting a train station to an airport, which are very close together. 
makes a lot of sense uh it would be funded as well by the local government because it makes a lot you know it is going to save them a lot of money and they could potentially make some money via the furs route as well hawthorne test tunnel i mean we've gone through this before great little starter project they learned a ton from that and uh, enabled them to make some adaptations to the good old machine dugout loop los angeles that's the project linking the baseball stadium um, again, I think this is a really excellent use case. Um, I've not heard very much about this. They, they were at one point doing an environmental assessment of that particular project. Uh, again, these things in California, unfortunately, drag out for years. Um, the, the cost per mile is excellent on this one, again, so it, it makes a ton of sense. Uh, I'm saying around 21% probability of completion, but again, things could just change you know, overnight. Um, uh, the mayor of... Uh, um, or the, uh, the person that runs basically California um, is being recalled. So again, things could change overnight. You never know. Right. So these are the two kind of important projects that I want to focus on at the moment. So Resorts World and Encore Win Casino. These are definitely getting built. They've been approved. Resorts World Las Vegas has started construction. Okay. So it's a very short project, just under 0 0.7 kilometers or 0 0.43 miles. Um, with it being so short, um, in fact, there's stations at either end that inevitably increases the cost per mile. So we're looking at around $22 million per mile. But obviously, the project is only $9.5 million. Use a good old plus. I'm expecting big things from this machine on this job. Um, I'm expecting it to exceed uh, 35, 40 meters per day. I'm expecting them to uh, get it done in really good time. So, um, Stay, we'll stay informed on that one. If there's some kind of change at some point in the next six or seven weeks with that one, I might do another quarterly review, so we, we're catching up there. Um, a very, very similar project. It's basically a shuttle service, this one, with one tunnel. That's the same for this one, the Encore Wind Casino in Nevada. Again, it's a single tunnel. It's more of a shuttle service. Uh, speed is kind of limited on this one. Uh, it, it's slightly bigger, uh, 0.59 miles or just under a kilometre. Um, as you can see, the cost per mile goes down because the stations are further apart, which is always a good thing. Uh, that start date is badly incorrect and needs to be removed um, because initially I thought the Encore Wind Casino was going to start first, but it looks like Resorts World uh, has started prior to that, so uh, that needs to be changed. Sorry about that. Uh, Otoyo Airport Loop, California. This was the project that I thought had been... Um, potentially uh, gifted to another uh, company. However, it looks like the Boeing company are gonna be doing an element of this particular project. Um, it's a, a link between um, Ontario Airport and Rancho Cucamongo, uh, which is a great name. <laughs> uh, again, it's a good sized project, it's got a good use case. We'll be using the proof rock machine on this one. So again, I'm expecting really good things, possibly close to 80, 90, maybe even 100 meters per day with that particular TBM. But uh, there's still a lot of planning and uh, uh, permit approvals uh, to, to go through on that one. So it, it might not start uh, until late next year. Uh, Baltimore, Washington, DC loop is a real disappointment. It has been removed from the Boeing Company website. I suspect that they have um, exhausted all their efforts on that one. And because of the lack of progress, they've decided to focus on other projects, which is a great shame because that was one of my favorite projects. Um, and there's a lot of potential for expanding that as well uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, 72.39 uh, miles. So, again, it's a great, great project. Uh, and the cost per mile would only be 14.22 million. Um, I've put that down as 12% probability of completion now, which is a real great shame. But unfortunately, you know, uh, not all projects that are proposed are going to be built. I've already removed a lot of projects from this uh, board here, including the Israel Loop and the, uh, uh, the, the Australia one, the Blue Mountain Loop. They were never, ever, ever going to happen and were just silly proposals. So we're not going to talk about them today. The CERN Particle Accelerator, uh, obviously that's in uh, uh, Europe. Um, where they're going to uh, conduct a particular scientific experiment and uh, uh, find that the uh, particular, uh, uh, it's not a particle, is it? It's, uh, it's an element of, a, of an atom. Uh, it's the Higgs boson. They, they've already found that, but obviously there's other things that they want to uh, 
discover to do that they need more energy so they need a much bigger particle accelerator so this is going to be uh, around four times bigger than the current one it's 100 kilometers uh, perfect circle um a las vegas loop so obviously this is one that is uh, of great fascination to me this is the one that goes down the strip that's going to link the airport that's going to go link all the main casinos um the cost per mile could actually fall because i believe that all the casinos are going to pay for their own stations so this could end up closer to seven million um this is one that i'm very hopeful will be built hence why i've put 92 percent because i believe in my heart that it will get built very very quickly uh austin loop obviously there's potential about a potential tunnel linking the gigafactory and uh, uh the offices in, in flugerville um I'm not 100% sure on this one, but it seems to be uh, continually appearing uh, in, in news articles and things like that. So I'm fairly hopeful, but we've not really seen any concrete proposals. This is a total guesstimate, so I'm linking where the offices are to the uh, the center of the uh, Gigafactory. So that could totally change. Miami Loop, obviously there's been talks with uh, Mayor Suarez uh, of uh, uh, Miami. And he wants to uh, encourage more people to do rideshare and uh, use more electric vehicles. So that has a very, very good probability of being completed. Um, the, the plans have not been released yet, but I'm estimating around 18.59 miles. It might be uh, maybe 10, 15% bigger than that. But for, the, for this moment in time, we'll use those numbers and see what happens with that one. But again, if they could use proof work on this particular project with the, uh, the limestone uh, under uh, Miami, which is reasonably hard, but not hard enough to cause problems. Uh, potentially, you know, we, we could see TBMs achieving in excess of 100 meters per day, uh, maybe a lot more than that. So this again is a great project, 77% probability of completion. The uh, other project I've added to the list, which is a new one, is this Adelanto test tunnel in California. Um, project value, total guess on this one is $5 million. The, the, the facts are I don't know very much about this project. If you do, please reach out to me uh, as a lot of this is, is guesswork and uh, pulling numbers off Google Maps. Um, 0 0.35 miles long, 0 0.56 kilometers. Uh, cost per mile, uh, I've got down here is 14.285, uh, which seems a little high, but I imagine they're doing a, lot, a few different tests in that particular area. And they're also... Um, testing the uh, the uh, the angled uh, e entry and exit from the uh, poor poising so they're, they're testing the poor poising system on this one so um, I'm expecting that they're, they're spending a little bit more money than they would do per mile um, okay so that's kind of everything um, if you want to have a look at this document there are some more columns in here um, and I've, I've tried to include things like the vehicles top speed Average speed, what is the status of this project, uh, on hold pending review, planning approval sort, such a thing. What is uh, the anticipated throughput or the projected throughput, how many stations there are, how many elevators there are, uh, that's that sort of thing. So um, it's quite a comprehensive document. I, I'd really like to do a little bit more of this actually in the future. Um, hopefully as well as more projects join this list, I'll do further breakdowns of the projects um, and then we can get an idea of... Uh, how the company is progressing i hope, really hope you enjoyed that quarterly review i'm going to try and do these a bit more often really what i should be doing is the q2 review um, at the end of june um, and then i should do uh, the q3 at the end of september and then i should do uh, q4 maybe in the middle of december um, or towards the end of december that's how i should be structuring it but unfortunately a few things are going on at the moment i am um, at this moment in time, moving um, home, um, I have purchased a new home and I'm going to be leasing uh, this particular apartment out to a good friend of mine. So uh, that uh, is all quite stressful and there's a lot of things going on at the moment. So uh, it's all good. But uh, thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful episode. I really hope you uh, enjoyed that and you learned a little bit about the uh, the various projects that are being built at this very moment in time and we've kept this nice and short just over 15 minutes so that's perfect so remember guys uh don't be boring and i'll see you on the next one have a lovely day take care now thank you and goodbye
This is Sparta!